Hi guys, Matt, Technical Manager here. And in this video, we'll take a quick look at the latest revision of the WeTech CPE 513 PV here. So this latest revision builds on all the feedback that you've given us as installers over the years of the version one and the version two. They've been incredibly popular and you may or may not have used yourself um, already. This latest version three has a few changes in the way that they operate. That's based off of the feedback that you guys have given us. Um, and we'll run through those uh, in this video as well as show you how to set them up um, and some of the advantages of using the new version threes. So first up, these units, just like the version 2s, are 802.3 AF-AT powerable. So although you still get the included PoE injector, um, which is passive, you can now run them off of a normal PoE source, such as a PoE switch. So 802.3 AF-AT, plug them into like up to a 30 watt PoE port on a switch, and you can then also do the PoE pass-through both on the host end and on the client end. Um, anywhere up to 13 watts on that connected IP camera. So straight from the unit, you can run a second uh, camera, um, which is then also running off the beam connected to a PoE switch. So neatens up your installations, you're only having to use one power source rather than uh, multiple plug sockets. Still come as a pair, they are still automatically pairing as well, so they will still find each other. However, the setup process for that um, has slightly changed. A lot of that is down to point to multi-point configuration, which is now a lot easier. Um, however, because of that change, the setup has uh, differed from version ones or version twos that you may have used before. We'll show you that shortly. They are also now cloud manageable. So one of the biggest features of WeTech um, as a brand is the Cloud 2.0 platform. That platform enables you to remotely monitor, manage, configure devices from the WeTech brand. So not only point to point links, but things like wireless access points. Once you've got them configured and set up, you can add these units to the cloud platform and that then enables you to see the quality of the link between the two units um, and also mon manage them directly by logging in remotely and also see what is connected, things like your IP cameras. Really simple, really easy to use. Um, I'd say they just build on that feedback that you guys have given us over the years on version one and version twos. Um, including the box is still all the usual stuff, so host and client, manual, plug, uh, Jubilee clip, and or e cables all included. So let's get them set up. Okay, so let's take a quick look at a typical scenario that we'd use these wireless point to points in. So you've got your recorder um, out in one building, and then a separate theory switch with camera or cameras uh, connected, connected up. Um, no hard wire link, so you need to use wireless transmitters. Nice and simple with the WeTech one to get them paired. So on the bottom of the unit itself, um, the cap just slides straight off. So these ways, spin it over, slide it off, and that reveals your ports and your connections on the bottom as well as your LED display. Now, physically on here, you've got a little toggle switch on the bottom left. That toggle switch enables you to set the units into host or client mode. Moving across, you've then got your LAN and your WAN PoE in ports and your PoE out. And the button on the right hand side is your factory reset and then your function and set buttons for your display. So easiest thing to do, I'll show you how to how they work. Plug your PoE in. Now that can either be coming from a PoE switch like it is in this instance, or it could be coming from the injector that's included in the box, or it could be coming from the PoE on the back of a recorder. Bear in mind if you are using the PoE on the back of the recorder, that you are still within your power budgets, the same as you would with a PoE switch. Um, and if you are then running the pass through to a camera and um, that you don't exceed the uh, wattage ports, uh, wattage maximum of the ports on the back of the recorder. So as you connect it up, you'll notice the display has started spinning. It's just booting up. On the right hand side of the unit itself, you've got your indicator lights. So you'll see that your system light will start flashing. And um, once you're up and running, your 5G light will then also indicate you're paired. Now the pairing process, like I said, mentioned earlier, has slightly changed on these units now. The reason for that is for point to multi points. Um, so when you first power them on, um, you'll have a C for a client or a H for a host, and then your, uh, your group number. That group number is uh, applicable to any devices that are within that group. So if you, once you have one host for a group, all the clients that are connecting to that group need to have the same number. So earlier on, I set this uh, host as group five. 
So to set the client to group five, press and hold the function button for five seconds. Let go and it'll start flashing. Then press the set button on the right hand side to change that group. So I set this host as five. Once you've got to the number that you want to set them as, just leave it and it'll stop flashing and I'll then set that unit into group five. So the reason for this, I say for using point to multi points, out of the box, you get one host and one client. Pick up two, two sets, you can have one host and three clients, two sets, one host and five clients, and all you do, set one host to your relevant number and then every single other one, flick the toggle across to client and set the group to whatever you want it to be. If you are doing multiple point to point links, make sure that you set the groups in different uh, sections. So group, don't use group one for everything, else your system may get a little bit confused. Separate them a little bit. So use group five, group 10, group 15, separate the numbers out, which makes it nice and simple. So this unit is now set to group five. On the right hand side, once, we'll, once this other unit is plugged in, we'll see that this uh, 5G light starts to flash and that will indicate that the units are paired. So what we'll do now is we'll just plug the host back in and we'll plug that into the back of the recorder and we'll just demonstrate how it works off of the back of the pre-rig. Okay, so let's get the host connected up. We've got a camera connected as well, uh, straight off the pre -rig pass through. So running straight off the pre -rig and the recorder into the unit. So again, this unit will start to power up. We'll give that a couple of seconds. Okay, so that's now set as host five. So we've got client five, hosting group five, and these will automatically start to communicate. Now, once that link has established, on the client end, you'll see that the uh, the five G light um, has started to light up. If that will go into focus there, and um, so that shows that these units are paired up and running. And then all we need to do from then is add them to the recorder. So camera that's connected directly into the back of uh, the first one should also have it add itself but if it doesn't select them hit add and they will automatically appear so nice and simple within a matter of minutes we've got two cameras up and running on the recorder one that's local and one that's anywhere up to five kilometers away thank you for watching this video on the latest version 3 beam kit uh, if you haven't already, get in touch with your account manager and get hold of yourself of one of the master job technical guides. Fantastic bit of kit um, and essential for installers that are doing both WeTech and Dower, um, as long as other brands in there as well. Loads of information, really useful, quick guides that will help you uh, along the way, not only with things like the WeTech kit, but also things like the Dower and other products that we sell. So if you haven't already, get in touch with your account manager, request one of these and get one of them shipped out for you as well. Again, like and subscribe, and if you've got any comments, don't forget to drop them down below. Thanks very much.